all right the assignment 6 this is also very important uh, corollary uh, if w is a proper subspace of a finite dimensional vector space v now here it is given that w is a proper subspace right then dimension of w is strictly less than dimension of v this we will prove all right okay uh, first of all if again if w is equal to the singleton set containing 0 then dimension of w is 0 we all know that okay now since w is a proper subspace of v so therefore there exist v which belongs to now see this is your vector space v and w is a proper subspace of v now if w is a proper subspace of v so there must exist a vector v which is present in v but it is not the element of w right so there exists a vector v which belongs to v such that v does not belong to w is this fine okay now <clears throat> thus this v is non-zero because uh, uh, because w is itself having zero element which means if v is not belonging to w which means v is non-zero can i write yes so thus v is obviously non-zero so therefore now because v is a non-zero single vector so this is linearly independent yes so v is linearly independent subset of v till now it's okay all right so <coughs> Thus, uh, what is the dimension of, now this dimension of V is then greater than equal to. Now, because this is a linear subset of V and V may have uh, more linearly independent vectors, right? So, dimension of V can be greater than or equal to 1. V may have more linearly independent uh, vectors or may not. But this is sure that this V which is non-zero this is linearly independent subset of v so i can write so uh, on this basis it may have basis having only this v vector or more than more than this v vector more than one vector in the basis right that's why i'm writing the dimension of v can be greater than or equal to one because for one it is sure right and this one is strictly greater than zero and what is zero zero is a dimension of w so from here we can say that dimension of w is strictly less than dimension of v first way is proved okay when w is equal to zero okay suppose that this subspace w is not equal to having zero element right then let's say there exists a non-zero vector present in w so there i have taken v1 to be a non-zero vector in w so let's say v1 is non-zero b in w right then this singleton set v1 this is linearly independent subset of w yes all right now because it is linearly independent so therefore, this V1, this linearly independent subset can be extended to a basis for W, can be extended to the basis for W, right? Okay, so there exist vectors say V2, V3, V4 up to Vn that forms the basis for W, that belongs to W. So there exist vector V1, V2, V3 up to vn that belongs to w such that this v1 v2 v3 up to vn is a basis for w right now since this set is linearly independent subset of w and w is subset of v so this is linearly independent in v also can i write this this is a linearly independent subset of v also so this is 
up to Vn is a linearly independent subset of V. Now because it is given to us that W is a proper subspace of V, which means there can exist one more vector which belongs to V, but it does not belong to W because it is a proper subspace of V. Right? So I can write here that there exists a vector V which is non-zero that belongs to, okay, first of all I write like this, there exists a vector V which is belonging to V such that V is not belonging to W. Yes, which means V cannot belong to this linearly independent, oh sorry, V cannot belong to this generating set. Right, because these are the basis for W. It cannot belong to this. Okay, but I know that V1, V2, sorry, V3 up to Vn. This is linearly independent subset of V. This I know. Right? So therefore, because V itself is also linearly independent, right? So V, V1, V2, V3 up to Vn. This is also linearly independent. Right? Okay. Now this V, V1, V2 up to Vn. This is a linearly independent subset of V. Now how many vectors this linearly independent subset is containing more than n, right? Up to this, it is n plus one more vector, which is n plus one vectors, right? So this is a linearly independent subset of V consisting of n plus one vectors. Which means, what is the dimension of V then? Dimension of V is greater than or equal to n plus 1. And n plus 1 is strictly greater than n. And n is nothing but the dimension of W. So this implies dimension of W is strictly less than dimension of V. So in both the cases, we got the result that dimension of W is always less than, strictly less than dimension of V. If W is a proper subspace of vector space V, right? Thank you so much. God bless you all. Please read step by step and please do remember all the definitions, right? Thank you so much.